Hey there! So, Rose Cafe Bust Your Dress. This dress is so gorgeous. It's been on my wish list for a very long time and I actually bought it, the pattern, like about three or four months ago. But I was afraid to try it because it looks more difficult than my, I would say, advanced beginner level. So, I wasn't really sure if I should try it or not, if I will just waste my time and ruin some material and stuff like that, but I decided that it's finally the time for me to try it and I hope that I can film it, so we'll see if you are a beginner, if it is possible for beginners to sew. I hope it is. I really, really love this dress and I would love to have it in my wardrobe. So what's the plan? I think that I will make a toile first. I will not make a lot of details. So I will just see if it's difficult to sew it or not and how is the sizing. So according to the, the sizing chart, I'm a perfect medium, like a 38 size. I'm not sure about the cap, I will show you my doubts about the size, the cap size, um, and then I will make not a dress, but I will make a bustier from like a nice material that I could just wear. Hopefully, it will turn out cute as I expected to. And let's just start. Let's make measurements and figure out what size will be the best for me. So the instructions say how to um, measure your bust to figure out the cap size and I think it is just supposed to be done like this. And in my case it looks like exactly 21 centimeters. So I think it means cap D, but I'm really not sure if I'm D. So I will have to decide between size C and D. Okay, so after measuring my bust like a thousand times, I decided to go for a C cup. And as you can see, I didn't realize that the PDF file has layers and that you can just print um, the one cup size that you need. So I printed everything and it was a little bit confusing to cut out. So. I marked my size with a pencil just to not confuse all the um, lines. So don't do that mistake, print only your cup size that you want. And then I proceeded to cut everything out from an old bed sheet. I decided to do lining as well, so I cut everything twice. I will not use any interfacing though, and I will make a simplified version as you will see in a second. And so these are all the pieces. I decided to keep them pinned to the pattern for now so I don't accidentally confuse them. And then I sewed the pieces together, which I didn't show here as it's just a bunch of straight lines. I did it twice so I have the outside part and the lining. And then I sewed the cups and something went wrong as the pieces didn't really match lengthwise. I'm not sure what happened, I might have just sewed it not precisely enough or I also might sew wrong sides or pieces by mistake as I had a pretty hard time figuring out how to sew the two triangles together despite the notches that are there. But it wasn't terrible so I just left it like that. Then I took the outside part and the lining and pinned it all right sides together and also I pinned one cap on the top like the instruction says. At this point I figured I make just one cup to save some work. And then I sewed it all around, leaving an opening at one side to turn it right side out later. On the corners I just put the needle in the material and then lift the foot and turn the material. When it was done, I cut all the corners and the curved lines. Mm -hmm. 
And then the instruction says to turn the cap right side out and pin it in a way that the lining is not visible on the right side and, and cut the lining at the bottom. So I did that. And then I turned the bodies as well. I sewed the bottom of the cap and also the hole in the bodice. And then the most scary part, sewing the cap in the bodice. Probably the best way is to baste it first, but I but it doesn't have to be very good in the toile, so I decided just to pin it. I made the first few stitches, moving the needle by hand to make sure it stays in place, and then I proceeded very slow, but it didn't turn out very good anyway, oh well. Okay, so I sewed only one cap. It looks like this. So I'm keeping it at the back, pretty like together, I think. And I really like how it turned out, but I'm not entirely sure about the cap. If I maybe should take in like half a centimeter in the center, but other than that, I think it fits me pretty well. I will think about taking half centimeter of every piece of the cap here but I will not change anything besides that and the fabric that I'm going to make it from is this corduroy I don't have much of it but I checked that it will be enough I also have remnants of this linen blend and so I will make lining from that I think it really goes together well at the back I will not use a zipper, I think I will make a tie up back like in a corset, like in a regular corset. So yeah, I will keep looking at the cup and I will decide if I should take it in just a tiny bit or if it's okay. In the end I decided to take a cup in a bit so I marked the points between which it doesn't look right on me. And then I measured from the center point to know on what length to cut every piece and I marked half a centimeter in the middle and freehanded the new line. Also I moved the notch on the long piece to make sure it's still there after, after I cut off the excess. Now that everything was ready, I couldn't justify procrastinating anymore, so I cut all the pieces from the main fabric, interfacing and the lining. It looked so cute. Then I pressed all the interfacing on the main pieces, and the instruction also calls for some stay tape, and I happened to have it, so I used it as well. Wow, it felt so professional, honestly. This is how it looked so far. As you can see, I kept cup pieces pinned together to not accidentally mix the two cups. Then I started sewing all the straight seams of the bodice. And despite checking everything twice, I managed to make a mistake and I rotated the back pieces by mistake, so it was the time for some seam ripping. I fixed the mistake and finished all the seams and it was the time to press all the seams towards the center as the instruction says. I'm not very good at pressing as you can see. All the straight seams were not that hard to press, but the curved ones are a bit worse if you don't have tailor's ham or something like that, like me. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was time for some top stitching. You have to do the top stitch 5mm from the seam and because I can move my needle only to the left, I decided to move it so it is 5mm from the left foot edge and keep all the seams on the left. It felt a bit weird but it worked just fine. I checked the original instruction video from Daria Pattern Making, how she went about the top stitching and I tried making it the same. I was pleasantly surprised that it was fairly easy and it made the whole thing look and feel very professional and put together. Then I checked like 50 times which cap is which and I pinned the top part and then sewed it. This part turned out to be kind of tricky for me and I just couldn't make it right and I had to seam rip and do it again. When it looked okay-ish, I pressed and top stitched it as well and look how good it looked so far. Then I made the lining the exact same method, just without any top stitching and I also managed to make straps from the corduroy fabric. The lace for the back I made from the lining fabric using this handy bias tape tool. Then the instruction says to cut the back strap on an angle and I wasn't sure how much to cut but I did something and then pinned and sewed the straps to the bodies and then pinned the lining on just like I did with the towel I tried to match all the corners and seams then unfortunately I forgot to turn my camera on but I kind of last minute decided to cut one centimeter off every piece at the back seam because I wanted to make a lace up back and if there is a little space there, I think it makes it look better. And also on all the corners, I marked a point one centimeter from the edge to know where to stop sewing and turn the fabric on the needle like I did with the towel because I'm pretty bad at eyeballing that while I go. So just to be precise, I prefer to mark it. And I very carefully stitched the whole top edge. I think this is my favorite part of the process. Weirdly satisfying to stitch this shape. You can see my laptop with the Darius instruction video open there, which I was watching over and over again at this point. I think it turned out okay, there are some questionable spots, but nothing too bad. I cut all the corners and curves and it was the time for some understitching. The instruction says it should be done one or two millimeters from the seam and there is no way I could just eyeball it. So I decided to use a zipper foot for that and keep the seam on the edge of it. By the way, this step helps keeping the lining inside apparently. The zipper foot worked really well. Also, as you can see, I didn't do the best job with matching the seams. In another Darius video where she did a bustier instead of a dress as well, I saw that she cut a bit of the lining that stick out at the bottom. So I did that as well and then I pinned and sewed the sides and the bottom leaving an opening to turn it right side out later. Which I then did and I hand sewn the hole. Then I took the cups, cut the front straps on an angle again and then sewed the lining and the main fabric together at the top and then understitched it.
Then, just like in the toile, I had to cut the excess at the bottom of the cup, and it is supposed to be like 2mm, but it looked more like half a centimeter in my case for some reason, but I just cut it off. Then I sewed the edge and I finished it with my overlocker. To finish it off, you don't have to use the boning casing, but I wanted to do everything like in the original, so I bought it and I used my zipper foot again to sew it on the cup. It was not the easiest thing and sadly I did not manage to stay on the casing the whole way, so I had to seam rip part of it and do these parts again. It's not visible from the outside, so I didn't redo the whole thing. The other cup went better. Do -do -do -do. The scary part. Sewing the cups into the bodice. The instruction video from Daria suggests to baste the cup first. And as you can see, I'm very bad at basting as it is just hand sewing. I started at the center seam and went outwards and struggled a lot. So let me just skip to when it's done. You have to stitch very close to the edge, so I decided to move my needle to the left again and keep the edge in the center of the foot. I went very, very slow and it turned out looking okay from the outside, although I didn't manage to match the center seam with the seam on the bodice. But on the inside, the stitch was supposed to be placed in the seam on the other side of the boning casing, and it looks really wobbly, but I really did it the best I could, so I decided to leave it like that, as it's only ugly on the inside. The other cap I decided to try pinning only, and it turned out very similar, so I'm not sure if basting really works for me, maybe I'm just too bad at it. So yeah, here is what it looks like, and I only had to do eyelets to finish it. For that, I found an instruction video that will be linked in the description box, so use it if you want to make eyelets as well. But basically, you need to mark where you want your eyelets and you need an embroidery needle, embroidery floss and something to make holes with, but more about it in a second. So after you mark all the eyelets, you have to make holes and the video said not to cut them, but to kind of stretch them so you don't break all the threads in the fabric. The lady from the video had a tool for it, but I don't have one, so I used a needle, then a wool needle, then an even bigger wool needle, then a knitting needle, a chopstick, and a makeup brush. So basically, if you don't have a tool for it, you have to use a bunch of things that are gradually bigger until you get a hole big enough to fit your lace. When you reach that size, you have to sew all around the hole with an embroidery floss to finish the edges. All the eyelets took me about 3 hours in total, so maybe you should really consider getting metal eyelets instead. And when it was done, I just made knots to secure the ends at the back and when all the eyelets were done, I put the lace in and it was finally done. And this is how it looks on. I'm super happy with how it turned out, although it's not ideal. I'm glad I decided to just try making it and did my best and now I will proudly wear it. So the question if it is possible for a beginner to sew, I would answer that if you can sew straight lines and you can sew slow and you're mentally ready to rip a seam here and there, then sure. Be aware that it will probably not look as good as the one Taria did, but it can look good enough for you to wear it with pride. Also, I highly recommend sticking not to the instructions only, but also to watch Daria's video and sew along and don't skip any steps. I want to encourage you to try it if it is your dream project and remember you can always make it well first and 
I will end on that note and so if you liked it make sure to click the thumbs up and for more sewing and occasionally cross stitch related content consider subscribing and I think that's it for today so see you in the next one bye